Hi, Gemini. This is Kelly from Moon Pi Tarot. This is your How the Other Person Feels About You reading for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This reading may or may not resonate with you. Please check your other signs if you need more clarity. Or if you'd like a personal reading, please go to moonpytarot.com and book your personal reading there. If you want, you can also download the Instant Go app from your iPhone app store and request a reading from me there as well. I will have it for you within 24 hours. Once you download the app, just look for Moon Pie Tarot. If, the, if you have iPhone and the app is not showing up, it may just not be in your country as of yet. Just sit tight. It will be soon. This is only for iPhone users at the present time. So you can also, if you need, well, you can, as I said, you can get another reading, a reading from me at moonpietarot.com. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram under moonpietarot for daily guidance. Okay, Gemini, so we'll get started with your reading. I want to show you real quick that I am using the Vampire Tarot, little gift from my son. So he said, Mom, make sure you use this for October. And he's like in his 20s and so he's like very supportive I love it okay so um, I've already shuffled the angel romance angel Oracle cards so we'll get started so Gemini messages you could be receiving from someone this is so let me just preface real quick this reading is for those of you if you're watching it's because you have someone on your mind whoever that person is however whatever your status is it doesn't matter just the reason you're listening to this reading that's about this person and what's going on with them so in the position of messages you could be receiving from them you know you could find out or realize uh, something about them or they could admit that they are there's a codependency issue here with this person addictions are affecting your romantic life um, or they could be sharing that with you, that you are a little too clingy with them. The Six of Cups. This is someone from your past. It could be. Someone that... Some of you could be dealing with someone from your past, this King of Pentacles. This is an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be uh, an earth sign. It's just someone who, not very emotional, someone who really doesn't give out their emotions. They're more grounded, much more stable. You know, and they could be telling you in the future that you are holding on maybe too tightly to them it's th it's i don't feel like they're saying for you to let go but that you are uh, just expect maybe too much from them or you know they could be saying to you that you know you have an addiction issue or something that you need to deal with addiction to to anything but they could be trying to tell you in a very kind way because the Six of Cups is always about kindness. So this could be a friend or, uh, you know, whomever it is for you. Now, how they feel about you is they want you to release someone that you may have had a hold on. They want you to release your ex, really. It's what it's saying. The time has come to clear your energy. And maybe that's the issue. Maybe this person feels like you are still holding on to someone from your past. And it could also be a king of cups. So a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces person who maybe left you feeling, you know, very imbalanced with the justice card in the reverse. Maybe this person had lied to you and... and so, you know, it, it could be someone that you're dealing with that you currently are involved with or whatever who could be an earth sign or someone who's much more stable and grounded um, 
who you may have known for a while, or they want you to release a particular person from your past who's really just, you know, the King of Cups in the upright is, is usually, you know, a very good person. You know, very, not overly emotional. Of course, he looks like he's very like, uh, but, you know, this person is compassionate and loving and, and kind. But because the justice in reverse is clarifying that, I feel like this person was deceitful. And somebody wants you to let go of someone from your past who, who doesn't have to be a water sign, but whomever they are, they have just wreaked havoc in your life. They were just someone you couldn't trust. They never gave you either the truth about something or and they were just you never got maybe closure with them and you, maybe you're still holding on to that person. Now, how this person who's messaging you feels about you, or not feels, I'm sorry, my brain. It, it, what's on their mind is unrequited love. It says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay, so they could be thinking in their mind that whomever it is that you need to let go of, you need to let go of because it's not going to go, it's not going to continue. This could be for some of you a friend who's telling you this. Or this could be someone that you're involved with who sees that you're too dependent on this person or this past situation. And especially if this person wants to be with you, they can't because you haven't let go of someone from your past. I don't feel like they've, I don't feel like this person feels like it's unrequited love with you. I just feel like it's something to do with that person from your past. The Ten of Wands here is very overwhelming to you. you. They see that that person may have injured you in some way with the Ten of Wands. It's like, you know, you just have had enough. And they see that you've had enough, but yet you're still having, having difficulty letting go because you're still staying involved. The Temperance in Reverse Again, a lack of patience, imbalance again in that connection. So this person's behavior is they're paying attention to the red flags. If you're involved with someone, they're sensing that you are still holding on to an ex or someone from your past. And they're looking. They may not be, you know, trying to get further with you because they're sensing that you're still staying attached. And the Eight of Cups, they're, they may wind up walking away from you if you don't let go of this person. You have someone here who is very kind to you and very supportive, will even help you financially in your life and uh, bring you stability and security. But you have some type of codependency issue is what they're trying to say. And they are not, you know, they may walk away with the Eight of Cups. Uh, you know, abandon the hope that anything could, or that, you know, there's, a, there's an issue where they might feel like you might abandon them. And they're looking to see if you're going to do that because of this ex person who was, you know, whoever this person was to you, who was just not truthful with you and honest with you. And the magician, they want to have a new beginning in, in, a in a love relationship. They want something new and they want something to manifest with you, but they're watching. You see all these red, the red feathers, I almost feel like they're like little flags and that infinity symbol up there at the top. It's like, you know, there's all these little red feathers, which is like red flags to them. And they're all around them. And this is what's going on in their mind. And, but they want something to progress. And they want to manifest something new with you. Now, in the position of what's external to them is you. So you need to forgive the and release and heal your past. 
so you can experience more love in your present moments or with someone in, in particular because this situation that you may be involved in or something that you have going on right now this is a, a very good omen for you with this person this past person not a good omen it's time to release and let that go and i see that you will the two of swords in the reverse i feel like you will you'll get to this point where, where you'll realize and they may even help you realize that you know they're the one for you not this horrible whomever this person this liar or cheater so they're going to wait for you i'm sorry that i have this blur this person whomever it is that's in your life currently they're going to wait for you they're going to be patient and take their time with you because they understand that maybe you were hurt or they understand that uh, you know things didn't go so well they're willing to offer their love to you and they will Ev eventually at some point perhaps towards you know mid why isn't my camera working sometime perhaps like mid uh november they may reach out to you and just offer their love even though you may still be feeling kind of like clingy or uh, still have a little codependency or some type of issue going on still because of someone from your past. I feel like this person, whomever you're dealing with right now, is a healer for you or there's someone who is very patient and willing to go the distance with you and, and help you get through whatever you need to get through, whether it's a, a lover or a friend or your camera doesn't want to focus. It's so terrible. I give up. So basically, that's really the gist of your reading anyway. So, you know, I, I, it's interesting. I, I just feel like you have someone from your past that you are still holding on to that you need to let go of in order to enjoy, learn from your past so that you can enjoy the love that's coming to you or that you have happening or that's current or, you know, in your life today or now or will be coming. Okay, Gemini, so that's your reading. If you wish for a personal reading, go to moonpietarot.com or download the Instant Go app and you can get a reading from me there within 24 hours. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.